Okay team, welcome to day three here on the cruise. Um, I just went and got some breakfast. I'm sitting out on the balcony enjoying the views and the ocean breeze, as I'm sure you can hear in this video. Uh, let me show you my breakfast. I just got some bacon eggs. Now, I first got the scrambled eggs. I don't like the soggy wet ones, so then I saw a fried egg and I got that instead. Um, got the hash browns, they're yummy. Um, baguettes and a croissant decide which one I want to eat and then I got some fruit over here and some OJ I'm gonna watch the Netflix and enjoy the view after breakfast we got dressed and uh, we decided to go ahead and make some content this morning so here are some clips I caught of Deja making some TikToks Here are also some pictures that I took on a balcony. Okay, so we are headed up to the Windjammer to go grab some more food. We spent the last couple hours just creating content. I was starting the editing process by putting in all the uh, videos from the last few days vlogs. Just so you know, make sure everything's looking good, looking tight. And um, then we're gonna go watch the belly flop contest. That should be a lot of fun. There's Asia. Hey! <laughs> it's an interesting piece of artwork there. It helps me know that I'm on the right floor though, so. Deck 11, <sighs> Windjammer. So Deja's been loving the curry um, from the Indian section on the uh, in the wind jammer. So I went ahead and had her get me a plate, so I'm gonna try it myself. And we're gonna see how it tastes. Deja keep <laughs> First of all, Deja lost her fork. They came and took her plate and took the fork with her. With them. Then she went and got a fork, unraveled it, dropped on the floor. This is take three. Take three now. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, they got like the banana leaves in there. Mm -hmm. So you can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with Indian food, so. Uh -huh. flop was hilarious but it was so good we actually had belly floppers that's always fun um we stopped off in the room to grab some shirts to put on and some socks because next we got rock climbing which you need to have both of those things you don't need to have closed toe shoes i believe they give you rock climbing shoes up there um so we're gonna see you know your girl is afraid of heights okay <laughs> i'm afraid of heights the last time the last time i made about three quarters of the way or excuse me one quarter of the way up <laughs> i was like we're through we're through um when i did it on the mariner of the seas uh so we'll see if this one it doesn't scare me as much as it's kind of situated in a different kind of spot in the ship um but i'm going to try to conquer my fears and get up there and ring the bell oh 
geared up. Got the ugly shoes. Are you excited to climb? I'm excited. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but we're gonna see what we happens. Go, we're gonna see. I'm um, gonna bring it now. right here okay at this point I was super proud of myself but I had not planned how I was gonna get down at that point I felt the wind I realized how high I was and I got scared uh, don't do this at home two hands on the rope she's scared of height she's about to cry <laughs> something in the water we're heading over to the flow rider next where I'm going to attempt to do something like this here goes nothing It's a free attraction on board, which is really cool, and I definitely recommend it. It is absolutely not easy, though. We are headed to dinner at Izumi, and we're late, but we have our glasses of wine. So we're gonna scoot down. We have a reservation for nine and it is like 9.05. But um, we are dressed to impress tonight. We'll yeah, check out our it. outfits a little later. Uh, our elevator is here. Oh, here we go. We can check out our outfits right now. Look at that. Ooh. A little commotion for the dress in the front. A little commotion for the back of the dress. Woo! Nothing special going on in the back of my dress, but you know. 
gonna get you. Bring it to yours. And here we are. No. <laughs> I just sat here and talked about our first time. We're just sitting here having a whole conversation with the recording. recording. Wow. Well, yeah, we've never done hibachi. We've done sushi a hundred times. Yeah, we've done hibachi. Next one, these. All kinds of stuff. Okay. Right. They're going to take over. Yeah. Tonight, whether you like it or not, okay? Yeah. Check this one here. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Japanese helicopter. Yeah. Okay, so there you go. So there's a new celebration here in the table. Oh. Oh, no, no. This is flavored rice cream. 
I love bushes. She, I feel like now it's just like vacation, like, you know, tradition for a day. She get some mochi. Uh -huh. Cut this open. This is supposed to go with ice cream. Is it gonna melt? <laughs> It's not molten cake, it's just regular chocolate cake. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, so as you guys saw, when you cut it open, it doesn't melt. The top is melted, but the inside is really soft, like the uh, like the final melted cake. Okay, I'm gonna give it I'm gonna get a good piece of beautiful. It's not bad, it just tastes like a brownie. It looks like it looks like a brownie. Okay, so we're back in our room. We just got comfy because we, we're gonna have another glass of wine and see where the night takes us before we go to bed. So, okay, we were really unsure if we wanted to do the hibachi, but after we've done it and we paid the $10 surcharge, so even if you On have the package, the $70. $70 got us chops plus one, so you get to choose another restaurant. So, so technically it was $80. Technically it was $80. If we did Giovanni's, it would just been the 70 mm. What do you think? So that was probably the most entertaining hibachi experience <laughs> I've ever had. No regrets. I wish I could have tipped him. If I had some cash, I would have gave him some money. It oh, was, yeah. He was... I mean, the, first of all, he the food was good, too. That's probably the best tasting hibachi I had ever. Yeah. And he was so entertaining. He had us singing along songs mm. and stuff. It was so funny. It was a lot of fun. He come, I had to go figure out what, what ship he's going to be on decks and go on that ship. Just, <laughs> that's how I ended. He, he could be the cruise director. <laughs> he could, honestly. Yeah, what's, what was his, did he tell us his name? He did. I don't remember his name. But whoever you are, sir. You did a good job. You should be You should be on the fun squad. Go to Carnival. No. And be on the fun I, squad. He said he's loyal to Royal. <laughs> but um, yeah, he did a really good job. That was the best hibachi I've ever had. And he had us dying laughing <laughs> the whole time. Yeah. I, yeah. Entertained. Like I was, you know, trying to record and get shots for you guys. But I was like. I really put this camera down because this is fun. Um, <laughs> I I couldn't even finish the food. Oh, we got so much food. We got we got we some to, to go. Back. Yeah, we're like I'm we're gonna so have cool. some cold fried rice in the morning. So that was that was Izumi. I'm glad we did it. We had a great C day. Yeah, this is yeah. most eventful C day I've had in a while. Yeah. So I'm glad you. I hope you guys enjoyed um, C day aboard the Freedom of the Seas, uh, guys. That's it for for this uh, vlog. If you made it this far, give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much for uh, watching. Um, be sure to subscribe to Vacation Vibes and Deja Fit Beauty. And Deja Fit Beauty, go ahead, go on over there and get your fitness tips. Oh, I'm, I'm, oh. <laughs> so we done. That's it for tonight. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Next time on Vacation Vibes, we go to Perfect Day Coco Cay and show you everything this small island has to offer. See you on Thursday. Bye.